Speaking of at what cost, Elon Musk launched his own perfume and it's called Burnt Hair. Yeah. At what cost? A <laughs> hundred dollars. You can get the bottle for literally one hundred dollars. Imagine buying perfume that's called burnt hair. Why? Like, did he smell? Has he ever smelled burnt hair? Because I have when Doesn't I actually when good. I accidentally let my hair on fire that one time. And like, it's not a good smell. That's it's, why I wouldn't come back for more. That's why it's intriguing. And the, honestly, the bottle's ugly. It's like this dark red. I, I honestly wouldn't want it on my perfume tray, mm. like aesthetic wise. But you can't get it in stores. You can only get it on boringcompany.com. So like in order to to know what it smells like, you have to buy it. It's honestly genius. And there's nothing on it. Like it doesn't say like, you know how you go buy a candle or perfume. It says like notes of this, notes of that. Like you like know what it smells yeah. like. The only thing that this says is it's the essence of repugnant desire. I don't know what that means or I what don't. it smells like. Repugnant's also a pretty big word. Yeah. Repugnant. Like pungent. Unacceptable. Yeah, I was going to say pungent is like not it. a good word. It says extremely distasteful or unacceptable. <laughs> so it's the essence of no desire? Oh. Unacceptable desire? Okay. Distasteful desire? How is that selling? I don't know. I feel like people just will buy a shit. Like, the thing is, you get to a certain level of, like, wealth and popularity and fame that, like, you can kind of just do whatever, whatever you want to do. And yeah. people are just going to blindly follow you or, like, just buy your shit. Like, we all know that the Kylie skin line was it's kind trash. of trash. But, like, <laughs> people will just continue buying it because she's Kylie and because she's going to make the packaging cute. Like, there's just nothing that That's you can true. do wrong when you get to a certain following. It's crazy. He did. I don't know if you knew this, but he in 2018, he used to sell flamethrowers for five hundred dollars a piece <laughs> that's it's kind of badass that's kind of amazing i kind of wish i had that i wish i had a flamethrower right i, I think about for protection in boston like <laughs> what do we get for like what do we get to protect ourselves like i am in this new apartment protection and i'm like life. all right true but like okay this is gonna sound dark but who would actually like i've heard that it's actually hard to to stab someone like harder than you'd think and i can say this on the podcast because it's like spooky season so it's acceptable <laughs> but like no, like when it comes down to it, I would like to think that I'm someone that has a lot of rage, right? I do. <laughs> <laughs> but in that moment, like, I don't know. Like, would you want to take the risk on actually being able to like stab an intruder that walks into your house, like protecting my cats? I would hope so. But like, I kind of would want a buffer, like, a flamethrower, a BB gun, a, a taser. That's cute that the first thing you think of protecting is your cats. Yeah. Not yourself or Michael. Or my sister. Or your sister. <laughs> well, yeah, I kind of cats. feel like they have like they can the, fend the, for the, themselves. Sav the savvy to deal with it. Wait, but like, also cats are quick. They can like scurry on out. They'd actually be fine. They'd probably be yeah. gone in a flash. Like they would, <laughs> yeah, they they would, would ditch you. They would ditch me for <laughs> sure, which is fine. But Oh God. Well, I'm very intrigued. I want like some TikTok reviews to rate and review this perfume. I wonder if it's unisex. Cause he, he said it's a perfume. Definitely. He also said it's the finest fragrant fragrance on earth, which is a huge claim. Wow. Wow. That's the thing though. Like men just say shit like that. <laughs> they say what they don't mean. Like I would never just be like, oh yeah, my thing is my thing that I've just made that I've have no experience in, like the fragrance industry, is the best thing on earth. <laughs> I know. It's pretty ballsy though. It is. 